Hi, I'm Alec Duncan from Lincoln Southwest. And this is an open-ended poem to my compass. <laughs> Dear Northern Star, I want you to know, for me, loving the axis my world spins on while your axis is light years ahead of me is watching my knuckles become more defined and my spine show a little more because I'm losing sleep over the way you held my hand. Unromantically, of course, on the night I was coming down from swallowing that bottle of melatonin. And even though you had novas bursting in your chest, you held my hand and told me you loved me like Neptune loves Pluto, like siblings. And even though I'd rather you love me like the sun loves the moon, like I love you, my heart still shook with the gravity of it. And even though I hated the way we were destined to be across the cosmos from each other, I was still happy to live in the same galaxy as you and to be made from the same stardust. Loving you is telling myself to take a deep breath, love, in your voice. <laughs> Loving you is wearing my seatbelt and taking my meds. But loving you is stepping out of an airplane at 30,000 feet, falling face first into enemy territory, the yard surrounding your childhood home. Loving you is loving a girl with lips I cannot taste, but I imagine they taste like the sky, like the air glowing violet with the last rays of sunlight. And I could not care less about the sanity powder packed into a handy capsule. Lamictal, Zoloft, Lithium, Selexa, Fluoxetine, Prozac, it's three in the morning, and I'm running my hand across my staticky mattress feeling radiant energy in the dark. I watch the sparks dance on my fingertips, and then I realize we are the sparks, dancing with each other's fingertips, platonically, of course, <laughs> afraid of electrocuting ourselves, but can't stand much less than searing our fingers. The dark room reminds me of the charcoal that seeped into my veins and my stomach, staining my lips black after two handfuls of melatonin. The, fog, the sparks remind me of the foggy headlights on the way to the hospital where my mom told them I scratched myself again. And from the scratches on my wrists, I bled a lot because it was more than just a superficial abrasion to the surface of my skin. Mom, the white and pink heloid scars tell a different story. And maybe it was a cry for help, but Maybe it was an attempt to release all of the blood you've ever made pulse through my veins because Northern Star, maybe I didn't want to be saved. Running my fingers across my mattress reminds me of the time you ran your fingers across me and not in a way where I felt satisfied but in the way that I wanted more than you had to offer because I seem to have a knack for falling in deep bottomless love with the people just outside of my reach. Plus, I'd rather have a spark and no flame than a flame with no sparks and I'd rather have you as anything than nothing at all. But Northern Star, I want you to know, my life was at one point in your hands, and your hands strictly, and now it's in mine, no matter how hard they tremble. And that's a shockingly repellent thought, but the stardust and sparks that sit under my skin are staying there for my sake, and no one else's, not even yours. Yeah!